Hello Radiant Pearl and welcome. I'm so glad you're here today and we're going to spend some time in creating our very own vision prayer board. I don't know about you but I'm excited about what the year has in store and of course doing it with Christ as our guide and so I want to take a quick moment to share with you what inspired me to go ahead and create this and of course to be able to take you through the process. So I'm going to briefly just show you one of the projects I've been working on. So recently I was creating some scrapbook entries and this has been a very eventful month and so while creating those scrapbook entries from birthday uh, parties we've had so far two birthdays uh, for just our little one and so with the traveling for the holidays and wanting to make sure that family and friends and loved ones could be present uh, to celebrate this miracle of our baby girl you'll see that I created some layouts and so while I was creating these layouts I decided that I would go ahead and create a vision board so to speak layout and it would be a prayer board as well and so you are seeing just some of our fun family friends here on this layout and I wanted to just go take it a little bit further and so how I'm going to be doing that is by making some of the layout designs available to you as a Radiant Pearl to help you with your prayer board prayer vision board that you may have yet to put together and that can really help bring some clarity. Uh, we really want to not just write the vision and make it plain and in times past having had the delight of creating vision board with Christ, uh, being at the center of that, wanting to experiencing a shift and wanting to share that shift with you. As you know we've been going through the prayer bible series and we've just been doing so many incredible things as a community and so our Radiant Pearls, uh, the plan members, circle members, Patreons have gotten first access to some of the amazing new resources and I wanted to make them available for those of you who are still wondering, should I create a vision board? Should I create a prayer board? Should I go ahead and, you know, write that vision and make it plain as the scripture tells us? Or should I just wing it? No, we want to have plans, right? Because if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. But you want Christ to be at the center of all your plans and having that visual. I'm super excited uh, that together we are going to be able to celebrate what God is doing in our lives, what he's already done, what he's getting ready to do, and just being able to spend quality time in hearing the voice of God, seeking his face and for direction. You may still be wondering, what your word is going to be for the year. Uh, maybe January is very hectic like it was for us with back to back to back birthdays. My birthday, then my daughter's, then my husband. So literally no time at all uh, to just go ahead and maybe reflect on this one thing. There's been other things I've been reflecting on, but on this particular thing and just really spending time, making time, carving out precious time uh, to make this a priority. So I hope this really helps you if you are looking forward to embarking on a creative journey this year and just to be guided in the process of co-creating and planning and just being able to really have a radiant life that you love with Christ at the center of it, please make sure to subscribe and take the time to like this, comment, help us to reach further and connect other radiant pearls like yourself together by just thinking of one person right now that you can watch this with and maybe create your prayer board with. It's amazing how our God works and he never does anything uh, by mistake or by coincidence. It's, he really does care about every little detail of your story, of my story, of our stories. That's why we're together. Let's jump right in. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna want to get our materials for our prayer board together. And if you are going to be utilizing the envelopes and adding letters to the Lord in your prayer boards. So you're going to want to get those envelopes. Here are my envelopes. Then you are going to want to get cards. It can be an index card or a regular 
uh, sort of greeting card to place in the envelopes or in this case if you are using any of our scripture printables um, as you're, you're going to see me add on my particular prayer board then you can customize it how you like it or already utilize it colorfully um, in the design that it already is in and then these are just scriptures that really bring to the forefront God guiding you every step of the way your path we want our vision to certainly be clear and of course it's great to have plans but plans without prayer is fleeting and I, I believe it sets us up not to win as we could if we make sure to keep Christ at the forefront. So I love that these great scripture cards and reminders come straight from the word of God to invigorate us, to make sure that at the center of our plans is what the word um, says and has spoken. And so we can couple them together. So I did leave the other side blank simply because that is going to allow us to write our prayers and then I, I wanted to show you that I did print this out this size and so if you wanted to have it smaller you would simply print this particular template out in the vertical format versus this particular horizontal um, and of course portrait versus uh, landscape so we're gonna go ahead and cut these down. You are gonna to want to make sure you also have your scissors. And so I figured not to let everything be cut with a machine, because I know not everyone has a machine. And then we are going to make sure we have our push pins so that we can place this, our envelope, on our board. I'm going to show you my board last to show you how I'm gonna put it all together once we've been able to cut our scripture cards and um, get also our actual stickers for the themes and what we want to really concentrate on. I even have some blank ones in this particular template and these are all items that we've made available to all of our amazing Radiant Pearls and our circle members but they'll also be available uh, individually if this is something you also want to take advantage of linked in the show notes and then we have a scrapbook layout here that I've done it's a collage and I thought it would be so perfect as I was designing different scrap layouts for our birthdays that we all just celebrated this month of January um, that I would just make my vision board from this particular um, 12 by 12 sheet. So I'm gonna show you quickly me printing this out. I love um, that we have that option to print from home and get everything really in one view. And you don't have to put a lot of work of putting all the pieces together because you just simply drop in the photos of what you want to have and you cover all bases. So I've covered um, home, I've covered health, I've covered um, community, I've covered my business, I've covered my uh, content creation, YouTube channel, all the things that I've been doing um, and really just being able to see growth with what God wants to bring forth, not just in my life, but in the lives of Radiant Pearls and Fearless Creators connected to myself and our br this brand and the vision that God has given. So health, um, eating healthily, um, and of course, if you've been familiar for any time here, we have some uh, prayers that we're bringing up to the Lord and he's already done so much and we just we're just grateful that we can go to him at any time and share what he's laid on our hearts and of course music worship definitely want to do more songwriting and um, taking time to really grow and develop uh, this gifting in the ministry and in the kingdom of God. So, so many fun little moving parts and pieces. Last but surely not least, I am going to add my stickers. So it's so easy, I can just go ahead, I 
um, have this also as a template. You can add in your own and you can write it in or have it typed in and then you're gonna see how I'm going to utilize this in putting it all together. So once you've got all the pieces, remember all you need really is your board, which you're going to see me putting my things, my items on. You need a card of some, some sort, so you can use your own or you can utilize the printed templates and cards that we've provided. And of course, scripture, add your scriptures or use the scriptures that are already formatted for a vision board. And then have also your envelope right envelope to place it your items and your cards in have your sticker or a way to label what it is that you are going to be praying over have your push pins so that you can place all the items on your board and de definitely decide if you want to go above and beyond and have a layout with all of the different vision items and things you want to keep at the forefront and praying over and believing God for on a spread for uh, your particular uh, prayer vision board. All right, and then if you want to go even further, add your stickers. You may have so many fun, amazing stickers that um, really is going to just pull it all together. If it has scriptures, all the better because this is all about bringing it to the Lord and remaining inspired and loving all the pretty things that you have in the forefront to draw your eyes and to draw you to what it is you're creating. So let's put all the pieces together. Don't forget your scissors because you're going to need to cut down your cards and let it all come together absolutely radiantly. All right. So these are all the pieces in one shot. And now we are going to go ahead and put it all together. All right. So as we are spending time right now, let's just be in a place of meditation and worship and let's just think about the things that God is drawing us to reflect on first and foremost his word and then as we reflect on his word he's going to lead us to pray and to consider all the things that he desires to bring forth in this new year and so if you are creating this with me right now i'd love for you to comment in the chat um, in the comment section and let me know if you are creating your own vision prayer board and if not what's stopping you from doing that oh so fun so beautiful and you may want to do it at a later date. You just need to set it on your to-do list or on your calendar. And sometimes you just need someone to do it with. And it was really amazing because God had laid it on my heart to do this. And I started researching about the prayer board um, because I've done vision boards in the past and there were always vision boards in alignment with my faith and trusting in the Lord and not the current woo-woo stuff that has been on trend just in uh, the world today. But I realized that there's a deeper meaning and now at face value, when you say something, it has different connotations, right? So I was just doing a little bit of research to see why people have switched from saying vision board, even though vision is of the Lord, um, rainbow and all the colors is from the Lord, you know, all these beautiful things that God has given unto us and <laughs> has sometimes taken on uh, different translations and meanings based on people's perspective and view and media and all those things but we can't be caught up 
in those things. We, we do want to have an ear to hear what God is speaking to us and speaking to the body of Christ and to people. We are his children. We're the sheep of his pasture. And so he speaks to each and every one of us, right? So spending time with him so that you can know his voice, he can know your voice as you build that relationship and that time in communion and in intimacy and in fellowship with him. What does this word tell us? If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without fault and it will be given to you. So if you're at a place where you are trying to really get clear on what it is you should be praying for, what you should be focusing on in this season, then it would behoove you to definitely turn to the word. You're going to find clarity as you ask for it and as you seek the face of God and as you trust him. We are believing and we are trusting and we are praying for so many different things, not just for ourselves, but our loved ones and those who have brought even other requests, which brings me to a point that I wanted to make here is that God sees the desires of your heart. And so when he led me to do the research and he led me to create the resources, <laughs> as you know, I love creating resources. Our Radiant Pearl Circle members are always the first to have access and I uh, want to just bless them for being such a blessing to us and the ministry that God has given um, you know, myself and Radiant Pearls uh, binding together in prayer and in community. And so there's been ebbs and flows and shifts. And I was so grateful to just get a little bit of time um, to focus on the newness of motherhood and, uh, you know, just this change in our lives and the season of celebrating a whole year of having our first miracle and baby girl. And so, um, did not want to stop creating things and so kept creating things and revamping things. Now I'm figuring out a, a more streamlined way to get all of the documents and updated uh, beautiful things that we've created specifically for Radiant Pearls. And I'm just excited that we, we can come back and start meeting together in community and in um, our calls that we would have. We used to have weekly calls and now with the season that so many of us are in, it's not possible to meet every single week, but getting to a place where at least once a month um, that we make that space available. And also um, there have been times when we said, okay, let's do every other week so that we can have that time. And I understand not everyone can make it, but whenever it's something that is gonna be extremely beneficial for growth and for assisting on the journey as a fearless creator and Radiant Pearl, we make sure that replay is available so that when you're not able to be live, that you can um, catch that and apply it as needed. So, oh my gosh, this is so much fun. So pretty for we live by faith, not by sight. So God led me to go ahead and pursue that path, just like with the prayer Bible series and now this newer prayer series on peace protection and focusing on what to pray for if you don't know what to pray for and recognizing that it was God that led me to go deeper in pursuing not just creating a vision board this year, but a prayer board that will also incorporate the vision that he has given. And so you could probably just leave this like that and place these as scriptures um, to really have fill out the board that you're putting on. But I, I do love the idea of having these different cards that you can write your prayers on one side and then place the other side um, 
the scripture side out so that if you want to keep the prayer just between you and God, you can do that, right? And um, I, I believe if you're in a household with other prayer believers and people who want to also pray and agree with you in prayer, then it's no problem to show those prayers um, so that your family and your loved ones can also be prayerful with you, believe God with you and even for you, right? So I want to say that our God is so amazing and he is the one that truly does guide our thoughts, our actions, our plans when you have a desire to serve him and honor him. So when he led me down this path, I did all of the research, made all the resources, completed everything last night. And then I said, okay, I'm going to just record the video of me utilizing all the resources to make it very simplified and streamlined for Radiant Pearls to take action and just follow along in completing their prayer board as well. And so that was on my calendar, on my plan for today. And then this afternoon after church, after service, I received a text message from one of my amazing big sisters from college. And we started together the Esther Circle Ministry on our campus, the AUC campus. That AUC is Atlanta University Consortium. And that includes, well, Atlanta University Center, but it's a consortium of the colleges in that area. So that includes Spelman, Morehouse, and Clark Atlanta. And so this particular ministry is for women, of course. So we had members from both Spelman and Clark Atlanta. And so these ladies, we came together and we would serve together, meet and do Bible studies, as well as just campus ministry, witnessing and evangelizing. And we were all from different, different walks um, in, our, in our faith and in life, but we had one thing in common, right? We love Jesus. And then of course, we were all women attending college. We were in the same season of life. <laughs> so this amazing woman of God has always kept up with me and with all of us, she remembers everyone's birthdays and she has a list where she takes the time to send it out to everyone. And she said, okay, let's do a prayer board vision party. I was like, are you serious? I'm getting an invite for something that I literally have been working on for the past week and a half and decided to film on this day. And it was just so amazing because that was the Lord just further confirming to me that I was on the right track. And so being able to get on that call already fully equipped and, and prepared and just being able to just be present and pray with my sisters and get our hearts in tune. People, sisters I had not seen in years since I was on campus were present and just being able to catch up and seeing, hearing what the Lord has done. Oh, did my heart so good, so well. Let me know in the, in the comments if you've ever had those moments. I mean, God created family and community and sisterhood for a reason, right? And so many times we neglect God's perfect design and we miss out on the blessings the blessings of that and it's so unfortunate but we cannot afford to lay slumber and not take time to experience the favor and the blessings that the lord wants to give unto us when we just make time for community and make time i'm just making space here so excuse me, you're just seeing my board, it's huge. Did not know it was gonna be so large. And I only had one item on this board, 
um, because I was using it for just concentrating on a big task and to do, which is my summit. But now we are going to make this into a full on vision board, right? So we're making room for that. So make space, right? Just like you take time for things that you love. It's so important that we have a heart and a desire for sisterhood and for coming together and for praying together, seeking the face of God together. And one of the questions that one of the ladies asked at the end is, is there anything I can do to help you make your vision a reality? Is there any way I can further partner with you? We're partnering through prayer, but is there anything else that I can do? And it was just so beautiful. So, you know, I want to ask you that question. If you are participating in this, okay, I do have everything. Um, so I'm just going to leave this up right here and we're going to put this back. So hopefully you can see more of this board. There we go. All right, so now we have a blank canvas to work with. And it was just so powerful to see how the Lord really just let everything flow so marvelously in this meeting, in reminding us, you know, no matter how far we go, you know, he has a way of bringing us back, right? Bringing us back together and bringing us back again. So I want to place this and just because it's in frame here and I want you to see what's on it, what, what I'm placing here. I'm just going to put it right there, but I probably could put it a little bit further up, but I may put my word right there at the top. So that, that's fine. We'll just give it time. So all I'm doing now is adding this. Yay! We already have pretty much my entire vision board there, but we're going to go a step further. And this is going to be so quick, easy, and simple. I'm looking for my envelopes because I had to move some things out of the way and they fell. So that's why I couldn't find it. Okay. Just some of these items and our cards. We actually don't need those cards because we have our cut cards. Okay. So we have our envelopes. I'm just going to line them up based on the categories that I want to place here. And I just want to give it a little bit of an angle because we don't need everything to be so straight and regiment, but just let it be something that is pleasing to look at and to draw you in day by day. And it's like a circle, a circle of life and a circle of prayer, a circle of friends and how fitting. Esther's circle from uh, our college days there, really coming together and radiant pearls. We're just such exquisite gems that are binding together in creation, co-creating, in planning, in praying, and in just going deeper. So I think that should be good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of completion, right? There's so much significance in numbers. So um, God did so much on each day. So we need to just turn them around, actually, because <laughs> we need to add our cards, our scripture cards. So right now, I mean, I can think about it a little bit more later, but right now I just wanna get things in here. So you could put it on the outside, but we're gonna write on this. So we're gonna put it in the envelope. And then what we're going to do is, so we need to leave room for the envelope to be able to be open and then to close. So I think I'm going to place this here to the side. I think that will be good. I don't know if you can see that, but you'll, you'll definitely see this one. But seek ye first the, his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Matthew 6, verse 33, how powerful. Such, such great reminders here as we continue on in seeking the face of God and trusting in him, taking him at his word. So we're gonna go ahead and place what we want. 
I want to be able to close this. So I'm thinking to have that option to be able to do that, I am going to pin it from the bottom. Let's see if that will keep it, right? So let's pin it from the bottom. Yes, and that should keep it, it should be secure. And it's just this beautiful pearl lessened. I've always had it. These are all items except for what I printed. These are all items that I've had lying around here in my home as a creator, right? Even this board, I've, I've had this. So you can look around, see what it is you already have and just let it work for you. And then if you want to add things like I've done with our actual printables and resources, then you have access to all of that. Oh my word, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God and the peace of God, the peace of God, hallelujah, which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your mind in Christ Jesus. How powerful. Every single day you can turn to this and pray powerful prayers taken directly from the word of God. And so you just continue to build that place where you can go back to, right? Go back to the well, the well of vision, of dreams, of prayers, and trusting and believing God for that breakthrough as he's given unto us. And he will certainly give unto you and our loved ones and ourselves again <laughs> this new fabulous year as we are creating together. Thank you, Jesus. All right, so I'm just gonna speed up this moment here so that you can uh, get all your pieces that you want and then I'm gonna show you the final view of everything and how it has all come together. And guess what? I may have more than enough card. I can do two cards per envelope. Yay! So many options here as we delight and create together. Continue to align ourselves in the word of God and in prayer as we take delight in him. Take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Amen. Psalm 37 verse 4. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. That almost reminds me of our theme scripture. If you can let me know what you think or if you know what the theme scripture is, go ahead and place that in the chat because it's so similar, right? Those who look to him are radiant and their faces are never covered with shame. When I saw Psalm 37 verse four, it was so similar because ours is, yes, if you've written it in the chat, yay you, Psalm 34 verse five. And you know, we have that on our pens, our scripture, Radiant Pearl scripture pens, and then pretty much all of our different prayer journals and planners and all the resources. May he give you the desire of your heart and make all your plans succeed. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah, and that's from Psalm two. We've got so many amazing reminders here in the Psalms. All right, so we're gonna head over to this side and let's go ahead and pin this on. Let's get that up so we can have it open. Here we go. So easy here. He's gonna give us the desires of our heart. And we said we have so many cards here, we could add more than one. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. Amen, amen. So many great reminders and so much more in the kit that I've put together for you 
as a radiant pearl. And for those who just want to make this as simple as possible in getting this project that is going to be a dear project to look upon and to bring before the Lord in prayer for this entire year, because this is a ever growing journey that we're on, right? It doesn't stop in just one day. It doesn't all happen in just one day either, right? It's something that can be continuous. Look at this. In their hearts, humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes. Let the Lord establish you. Proverbs, so much wisdom. Proverbs 16 verse 9. He is going to establish your, your going in, your going out, every step that you take, for we live by faith and not by sight. We spoke on this a little bit earlier. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7, just believe in God and he's going to renew you as you spend that quality time. It's just so much that God wants to do as we seek him, as we trust in him, and as we take him at his word. Hallelujah. Thank you, mighty God. So now all we're going to do, and you can rearrange things based on what you decide on and where you would like things to go. But um, for my stickers here, these are all the areas I really want to focus on. And so for me, I'm going to start here with family because we know that is our first ministry is making sure that our family is just growing and flourishing in faith and in Christ. So I'm going to place that. You could put it either at the bottom just just no rhyme or reason just let it just let it flow just place it where you desire because we're going to add other stickers right you saw all of my fun amazing stickers here that we can add so i'm going to make it really lovely and colorful but for now let's keep it simple with these items adding our labels and as the year goes on you can continue to add prayers and at the end of the year, you can pull out and just see all the amazingness as you've had things organized. I mean, we have everything else organized. If you're a planner, why not have your prayers and the vision that God has given you and your, your household uh, be something that you've loved on and prayed over and you've added time to, right? So uh, definitely, right, we said marriage... Uh, families are first ministry. Well, also the ministry that God has given unto us, whether it's our in-person ministry, online ministry, whatever that looks like for you, let that be a matter of prayer that God would lead and order your steps. Our community is so vital. God places us in the communities that he has for a reason and sometimes for a season. Oh, it's at the heart off a lot of what we do here. So that's right there in the center. Let's pull that down so you can see it. There it is, <laughs> right there in the center. All right, you'll get to see a full view of everything soon enough. All right, so we have community. And then we have, let's see, we have, Church is so vital. It's also at the center. So let's put this right here. The church, the body of Christ, right there at the center as well. And then we are going to add our home is at the center of everything that we do. All right, just like our family. Here we go. So we're just going to keep adding as God leads and direct. We want to keep all of these flowing and look at this, so accessible, these areas, so we can keep going back to it. And then we have here, business, so vital, but let's do our health as well. So important that we live a healthy lifestyle so that we can continue to do the assignment that God has given unto us, so health. All right, so we'll put that right there. Let's put this over to this side. God has given us health and wealth and strength, all that we need. 
and the business. So, so many more. So you could add some of these stickers on multiple. You could add multiple stickers on these particular envelopes. And I'll probably do that when I have some more time to think about all the things I want to do and add. But right now I think this is good enough, right? I wanna keep it as simple as possible so you know you don't need to do too much to let this be ready. <laughs> All right, so what I want to do is just add finishing touches. You can add your personal touch by adding your text on the other side and on the envelope. It's up to you what you desire, but I am going to just add some stickers um, to further remind and to draw um, me to the beauty of what we are putting together. So this says walk humbly, right? So as a family, let's see, as a ministry, we're gonna walk humbly, walk humbly with our God, right? Seek justice and walk humbly. Look at that, just a little dab of, it's like I added paint. <laughs> That's what I love about these stickers. Sing praises unto God, sing praises. Yes, we're gonna sing praises. And we do that as a family, we do that as a church, we do that as body of Christ. So yes, I'm gonna have to put this right here. My little baby girl uh, just amazes me when she starts singing after she hears myself or her daddy or both of us together singing and all uh, the praises. I just know their music. They're just melodies to our father's ears, to Jesus's ears. It's so, so powerful. And then we want to go boldly, go boldly into the community that God has placed us in and in our calling. I mean, everything. We want to go boldly. Such great reminders here. Go out into the highways and the by, the by, is it byways? No, into the highways. <laughs> we are going to go boldly. All right. All right. And his grace is enough. As a church, we want to give grace and to receive grace and it is more than enough. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. His grace is enough. And let's see here. Oh, we have so many amazing ones. The Lord is my shepherd in Christ alone, my home. He's my rock, my foundation. He's going to break every chain. I mean, there's so many amazing options. This has been waiting to just be used. Abide in him. Yes, our home. We're going to abide in him. Y'all, I'm trying to decide which one I'm going to use because... There's so many great ones. Oh, let me ponder on this. Abounding in hope. Be still. Read, pray, repeat. Oh, how he loves us. Amen. Maybe I should do that for health. Yes. Health. We're, oh, how he loves us. Look at that. Oh, how he loves us so. Thank you, Jesus. His grace is enough and oh, how he loves us. So I'm just gonna simply put joy. There's so much joy in our baby girl. That middle name of hers just really exemplifies what she's brought to our home. So let's add some joy. I'm probably going to add some other ones, but let's just do that for now. Oh my word. So many amazing, amazing ones to choose from. Grace and peace, praise. We're gonna have to fill this, this home up with so many things here. Let's do worthy is the Lord, even in our business. The Lord is worthy, worthy, worthy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. So worthy of all the glory and all the honor and all the praise. Worthy is the Lord. Thank you, mighty God. You're going to receive the glory and the honor. I also want to believe. So I'm believing God for greater things in my life and in my business. So I'm going to add that right here. Believe. Yes. Just keep believing. Keep praying. Keep seeking. God, he is going to move and he's going to do 
the miraculous. He is holy. He is worthy. And we put our trust in him. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to keep believing. So I'm going to add believe. Believe. Because it's what's brought us this far, right? To having faith, believing and trusting in the Lord. Believe. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We want more of you. We need more of you. Grace and peace. Let it abide in our home and in our hearts. Grace and peace. Now and forevermore. Let truth abide. Let truth abide in our church. Yes, Jesus. We thank you for the truth. We thank you. You are more than enough as you are more than able. So, yes, there it is. So it is coming together. I don't want to take up too much more of your time. I'm going to show you a last look and I'd love to see how yours have come together. Please do share and tag me if you do decide to utilize any of our resources or simply you're inspired to create your own vision board by this particular video and creation together and let's add some love because you can't have a home a, a true home right that has joy without love so love sometimes we've heard that saying is all you need <laughs> Oh my word, Christ, he is our solid rock and foundation. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. We need to add that somewhere, but I don't want to over, I don't want to crowd this. I think I want to add another envelope right here because we have enough space on this side right here. And so that will give me an opportunity to add more stickers and another theme that I may want to focus on. So I'll show you that when we see each other on, on uh, the camera. <laughs> Yay, we are back together again. I am so super excited that we've been able to spend time in building out our prayer vision board together. Ah, behold the beauty that is the Vision Prayer Board and just making it your own, creating uh, simplified and streamlined with all the resources that we've provided. And so I just want to share with you here uh, up close a little bit how this has turned out. And I'm just super excited because as you can see here, we have the collage being the centerpiece. And what I did, uh, you've seen me go through the actual uh, materials that was utilized. So of course, you have access in the prayer board kit to the stickers that's gonna be the themes that are being covered. And I decided to add an extra envelope. So I just rearranged the bottom piece here and my extra envelope is going to be for goals. And uh, right here, of course, we have um, some major, you know, creativity, blogging, business, content creation goals in the work. So, but Christ has to be at the center. We have to abide in him and really take time to reflect so that we can create and co-create, right? And so I'm super, super excited that we did not leave any page unturned, really. And so you'll see here as well that I added a card. I showed you uh, the card that you can use if you're not using one of our printables to write your prayers. Like we have here, you'll see here, we have so many different ones popping out off the actual envelopes. And so what I did, I just cut it with my scalloped scissors, at, put the push pin and took the time to place some more stickers and really concentrating on praying continually. Like you saw in my stories and you've seen uh, behind the scenes from 2023, prayer is a priority. We just have to be intentional in recording, whether it's using your prayer journal or your prayer Bible or your prayer board that's gonna stay right there and not having to worry about, oh, I need to go find all of these resources. It's right there 
in view, top of mind and radiant and beautiful, to, lovely to look upon uh, so that you're drawn each and every day to seek the face of God, to take delight in him, knowing that he is going to give you the desires of your heart and knowing that these are all areas that you want to focus on allowing God to minister to you so that you can minister to the people and the body that you are um, called to from your home to your church to your community to your goals to your health your business to your family to your ministry all of it right depending on what you chose as your theme so I, I hope and pray you are inspired to create if you do decide to go ahead and create your own prayer board please do tag me at Lady Stacy's Aunt or at Radiant Pearl Living on Instagram. We have a Facebook group and Facebook page. Feel free, please. And we, we have parties, planning parties throughout the year, journaling opportunities to do it all in community. And so we implore you, we encourage you, if you feel like you're not gonna spend that time that's necessary on your own, do take time to get an accountability partner in our group, in our community or sisterhood and um, maybe you have a friend in your local community call them up and let them know about the vision of what you're hoping for and bind together with them because what where two or three are gathered just like in the church you can partner with someone continuously throughout this year in prayer and I hope to be your partner let me know how I can support you uh, embark on this exciting journey with us and don't let there be any excuses we have everything you need in the resource library and if you want to take it another level another step customize it even further uh, as a patron plan member and all uh, the radiant pearls that are just investing we appreciate the fact that you're spending time in just making this what it is such a radiant anointed community and just being able to continue to be inspired by you to create month after month more resources that will be invaluable to you and your journey as a radiant pearl so enjoy until next time see you again very very soon on the next